face. You gotta be kidding. You want us to go to Ecuador to rescue or find the sweetheart of Sigma Chi? I mean, I think all this high living has made your brain go soft. Is this what you sent back? This cheap piece of jewelry. <laughs> that happens to be my fraternity pin. <laughs> and it isn't cheap. Now, come on, guys. We've gone on cases for each other before. Why can't we go on this one for me? One thing, we don't know the girl's in trouble. She stood you up in college 15 years ago, and finally she remembers to write. Frankly, I think you're better off without her. I know Leslie. Murdoch, will you cut that out? I can tell by the tone of her letter that something is wrong. You know the routine? Get rid of them fast, or you start losing some of your orphans. I help you? Well, I hope so. We're looking for a woman by the name of Leslie Bechtall. She's supposed to work here. I'm sorry, but we have no one by that name on our staff. Uh, yeah, well, uh, she wrote me a letter with this orphanage's name on it. Perhaps it was another orphanage or simply old stationery. May we speak to another nun, please? We have no one named Leslie Bechtall. I'm sorry. Let go of the gate. Not exactly the singing nun, is she? How would Leslie get her hands on their stationery if she didn't stay here? Yeah. Rico, viene aquí ahora. Rico. Oh. Man, I don't believe nobody want to stay in this place. Okay. Huh. Where do you think you're going? Thank you. He does this every time it's time for his bath. Thank you. Leslie. Templeton? Why are you in that outfit? He shouldn't have come. You've got to leave. Wait, wait, Leslie. Leslie! Federalis! Federalis! Federalis, muchachos! I got him on my tail! How do they know to look for us here? Beats me, but at least we know why no one's ever heard of Leslie Bechtal. Well, at least you know what really happened. That ought to make you feel better. Yeah. It didn't even end up costing you that much. <laughs> Close out, Dodger. Wait, 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 wait. This this case isn't over yet. We can just pack up and go home. Those nuns are in trouble. Listen, guys, I know Leslie. I recognize the tone in her voice. I, I gotta say, I, I think Face has got a point here. Oh, Hannibal, don't tell me you recognize the tone in the voice, too. No, but there was something peculiar about the way they were behaving. I mean, religious orders are normally very receptive to anybody who knocks on their door. That's right. And for some reason, these nuns weren't talking to us. Now, look, I, if I can just get close to Leslie, I can find out what's going on here. You're just going to have to go back in there and get in the orphanage. I can tell them I'm an orphan. Oh, you're too old. But you might want to practice up on your rosary. Did you ladies pray for our souls, too? <laughs> pray for our souls. <laughs> very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Take me back to my room, man. Let's speed this up, face man. Leslie, would you please tell me what's going on here? Teresa. My name is Sister Teresa now. Okay. Sister Teresa, would you mind telling me what's going on? It's just that I was afraid things would come to an end for me here. And maybe I should tie up a few loose ends in case something happened to me. You were the biggest loose end in my life. Why didn't you tell me about this 15 years ago? It would have been so much easier on both of us. Do you realize? Do you have any idea what you did to me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I hate to butt in. But the activity's starting to pick up out here. The guys with the guns are saying something about a head check. Right, right. Twice a day, they count the children and the sisters to make sure no one's escaped. They started doing that after I snuck one of the children out through an old tunnel in the wine cellar. He was the one that sent you the pin. Well, who are they? Oh, they're a bunch of crumb balls. They're wanted for a variety of terrible crimes. You see, their leader was wounded badly in a shootout. They're hiding out here from the Federal. He's waiting until he recuperates. 
They've terrified the children. They get drunk every night. They destroy things. Now they're out of liquor. They're starting to get restless. Murdoch, you better go back and tell the others what's going on here. I'll stay here so at least one of us is on the inside. Uh, is Leslie OK? Oh, she's doing fine, but those other guys are running out of booze, which is making them antsy. We got to get in there real quick, Colonel. Why can't we just go back in the way that you came out? Oh, it's too risky. It's too risky. You can barely get in there single file. Besides, it opens up into the wine cellar, which is probably where they spend most of their time. Now, we got to think of another plan. I ain't dressing up like no nun. It's a simple maneuver. All we have to do is get inside without them knowing it, and then clobber them. How? VA military history has recorded a dozen operations like that. Name one. The Trojan horse. All you have to do is pick the right horse. Oh, I'm going madre. Me and Glacius remodel, but my truck, you broke. Sorry, but there's nothing we can do for you. Madre, I must deliver my whiskey. You know, I, I don't deliver my whiskey. I... You got this truckload of whiskey. Right there, senor. Hey, Gibbons! Gibbons, come here! What's up? This here's a man whose truckload of whiskey just broke down outside our wall. See, si, senor. And he needs some help. Yeah, poor for war, senor. He wants help with whiskey. Shot of whiskey. Hey, DA, they're all drunk. Give this man a shot. You got him? I got him. 